Night of firsts in another dramatic blow to Labour, the Conservatives became the most popular party in Wales for the first time in modern political history. The Tory leader, David Cameron, called the result staggering. Well, let's go to Wirra Davis. He's in Cardiff for us now. Wirra. John, it was 1918. The First World War was coming to an end. That was the last time that Labour lost a national vote here in Wales. OK, this may only have been a Euro election, but coming second to the Tories is a deeply uncomfortable feeling for the Welsh Labour Party. Like a victorious general arriving to plant his colours in what was once enemy-held ground. On the steps of the National Assembly for Wales, the Conservative leader declared that no longer could Wales be regarded as natural Labour territory. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Well, I wanted to be here in Cardiff on this historic day. Not since the time of Lloyd George has a party other than Labour won in Wales. And today it's the Conservative Party that's done that right here in Wales. Not since the days of grainy black and white photography have Labour lost a national vote here. Then it was at the hands of David Lloyd George's Liberal Party. I shall now declare the result for Wales. For glum-faced Labour supporters in Wales last night, there were few, if any, crumbs of comfort. From the man brought back into the Cabinet to help steady the ship, no excuses. The people of Wales were giving Labour a kicking by staying at home, in the main, and occasionally voting for minor parties. That was their strong message. They wanted us to change, they wanted us to sort out the MPs scandal, and we're doing that, but they didn't want the Tories to win. If these Euro results were to be replicated at the next general election, an awful lot of Welsh Labour MPs would be looking for new jobs. And with UKIP winning its first MEP seat in Wales, this has really been a groundbreaking election. And as I say, many of those Welsh Labour MPs in previously safe seats will be looking over their shoulders this lunchtime. Back to you, John. Well, thanks very much. Well, elsewhere, the SNP.